Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be going over the best budget safeties in Madden 19. So let me know down below any other position that you guys want to see. I did recently do quarterbacks, receivers, pass rushers, and I think users. So this is going to be the safeties. If there's any other position you guys want to see, let me know down below. And also let me know some players you would like to see on that list. And if you think I missed out on one in this list, of course, the budget is going to be 100,000 coins. It's going to be free safety and it's going to be strong. So they decided to combine the two there. Uh, there wasn't like a ton, ton of really good budget beasts for safeties, but I did find some pretty good ones and hopefully will help you out with your scheme. With that being said, let's get into the best budget safeties in Madden 19. Well, of course, we're going to start off with a pretty cheap one here in Ron Parker. He's currently on for 15,000 coins, and I want to say it was Madden 17, maybe, uh, that he had an Easter card. That Easter card for me played so freaking good, and I don't know why, but Ron Parker has always played really, really good for me. So 85 overall Ron Parker, he's six feet tall. He doesn't have very good hit power. He's not going to lay the wood. He's got six, nine hit power, but he has 91 speed with a 90 acceleration, 85 zone, and an 82 man. He can play man, or he can play zone coverage. Not the best coverage stats, but it's pretty solid for 15,000 coins. Plus, he has 91 speed. Catching of a 78 is pretty solid as well. Uh, he has an 80 jumping. Block shed of a 49. The card overall is pretty solid. And like I said before, Ron Parker, for me, for some reason, just always played really glitchy. I used to play him at a... Kind of like second middle linebacker role, even though I didn't really have the best hit power. Just to have like a speedy little user there, because I didn't really have the best team a couple minutes ago. So I'd use Ron Parker, a middle linebacker. And I have to say, Ron Parker's cards still play pretty good. Now, unfortunately, he's actually not up in the auction block, but I did want to show you guys DeAndre Hopkins. So this is kind of one you can have a little bit of fun with if you like to use your free safety, or if you just want a good coverage guy out there. DeAndre Hopkins get the job done. Now, he's going for about 29,000 coins on Xbox and 31,000 coins on PlayStation. He is six foot one, And obviously, the, the best thing about DeAndre Hopkins is he's probably not ever going to drop an interception, or he shouldn't ever drop an interception with that 90 catch rating. He also has an 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 89 zone, which literally all you have to do is put like lockdown cam on him. If you get the right cams, you can go to like 92 zone which is really crazy uh, for DeAndre Hopkins. 90 jumping, also has an 87 play rec, 88 agility, 90 catch, 93 catch traffic, and an 88 spectacular catch. Now he's not gonna lay the wood with a 54 hit power and his 53 block shit is not very good, but it's just maybe someone you wanna mess around with, running free safety if you like to use them, or in general, just put out there if you know for a fact it's gonna be like a Hail Mary because he's not gonna drop an interception, or in general, have him out there for your safety. He shouldn't drop the pick. Next up is DeMonte Casey, I believe is how you say his name. 88 overall, he's going for about 60,000 coins. The card is pretty solid though. He's got 90 speed, he's 5 foot 11, 91 acceleration, 80 tackling, 80 play rec, 87 pursuit. He also has an 82 zone coverage. Now again, he's got 79 hit power, not really the best hitter, but 90 speed, 82 zone, pretty solid. Uh, 84 catching as well. Also has an 83 jumping and a block shed of a 64. I used to think that his, what was it, 85 overall zero chill guard, I want to say, was really good. Then he got the team of the week, so Casey just got a little bit better. So Demonte Casey, I would definitely put in here for the best budget safeties. Next up is Jamal Adams for about 57,000 coins he's going for. He's got 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 80 tackling. 80 play record with an 86 pursuit, 82 zone, and an 88 hit power. So one of the bigger hitters. And honestly, he has an upgrade to a team of the year card. And my God, this card is so freaking good. So if you want to power up Jamal Adams and pick up the team of the year Jamal Adams, I definitely recommend it because this, this card has been absolutely crazy for me. He's been laying some huge hits. He's absolutely been like laying people out. I think he has a couple pick six for me as well. He has just played really, really good. Catching on the 86 overall is a 73 as well. Jumping only a 76. He does go up to 85 once he's at his uh, 96 over, 95 overall strong safety. Block shed is a 63. 
That's better than a lot of the players that are on this list. So Jamal Adams is definitely one of the best uh, budget strong safeties. And if you want someone to come down and actually lay the wood on someone, 86 overall Jamal Adams, then you can power him up later, pick up the team of the year. Next up is Clayton Gethers. Now he's only going for about 16K, but I gotta say, he is like, in terms of what I like to do with my scheme, he is like the best budget person you could possibly find. Now what I like to do is if you're in a dime formation, your backup strong safety kind of plays a middle linebacker role for you to play in the box. So Clayton Gethers fits this perfectly. Now I'll tell you why. He's six foot two, he's got 88 speed, and he's got 90 hit power. That's crazy good. Yeah, that's a beast user with really, really good hit power. Now his coverage stats are really bad. 6'9 man, 6'9 zone. That's why you want to use this guy because he has 6'2 with 88 speed, 90 hit power, catching of a 59, jumping of an 87 at 6'2, and he also has a 69 block shit. So if you like to do uh, a, a dime formation, a big dime, and put your back strong safety at your middle linebacker role, Clayton Gathers is probably perfect for you. Now, next up is going to be 88 overall Patrick Chung. Now, the one thing about Chung is he is a little bit on the slower side with that 86 speed. But besides that, he's got really good acceleration in 92. He's going for about 40,000 coins. He also has 90 zone and a 91 hit power. In 90 zone and above 90 hit power. That's really freaking glitchy. Just a little bit slow, but he does have a 79 catching as well to make up for it. Also, an 88 jumping with a 50 block shed and he's five foot 11 so a pretty solid strong safety and for only 40k i mean you really can't get that much better of a balance of really good hit power really good zone and also great acceleration to break on the ball next up is 87 overall justin reed eric reed's brother definitely balled out this year for the texans i believe that yeah this was the one where he had the uh, 101 102 yard pick six he got this team of the week guard he has 91 speed and he's six foot one with 86 zone coverage for only 30,000 coins. He also has 78 hit power with a 72 catching, uh, jumping of 86, and of course a block shed of a 68. So Justin Reed's 87 overall card is very good. Could he see another upgrade? I definitely could see Justin Reed getting another upgrade this year sometime soon for like a rookie card or something. But for 30,000 coins, this is one of the best budget strong saves in the game. Not as good of hit power as Jamal Adams, but speed, coverage it's definitely pretty good now next up is 89 overall buddha baker now he is five foot ten with 80 zone but he's got 90 speed 90 excel and 91 hit power another guy that can play a middle linebacker role or in general play a strong safety role because he's still really good he's got really good catching at 79 jumping's only a 77 the block shed is a 73 so buddha baker another very physical safety you want and of course a speedster and if you put like the right cams on and get locked down i'm gonna give it to 83 zone coverage which isn't the best but it's not terrible he also has an 87 tackling 94 pursuit that is crazy good for any other overall strong safety and an 86 play rec. And right on the edge of the 100,000 coin budget is Adrian Phillips. 91 overall playoff edition of Adrian Phillips. Take a look at him compared to Sean Taylor. The zone coverage and the man coverage he beats him in. And everything else, just a couple points less, except for, of course, the hit power. The hit power is the biggest difference in the pursuit. Speed-wise, he's got 89 speed. He also has a 92 acceleration, which you really need to have some acceleration out there if you're looking for a coverage guy to break on balls. 83 tackling, only one less than Sean. 89 play rec, only one less than Sean Taylor. The pursuit's a little bit different there, but the man and zone coverage both better than a 94 overall free safety Sean Taylor, and of course, 76 hit power. Now, Adrian Phillips also has a 62 catching with a jumping of an 86, he is five foot 11, and a block shed of a 55. So he's definitely a pretty solid overall free safety. Now, he is right on the edge of that 100,000 coin budget, but this is gonna be my final best budget safety. Let me know down below what player you think is actually like the total best value. If I had to say the best value of the free safeties or the strong safeties, I think maybe Justin Reed might actually be like my best value uh, free safety in the game. Besides him, I really do like that Clayton Gathers if you're going to run him at like a big dime middle linebacker type role. And I really like all of these safeties on this list. So hope this video did help you guys out. If you're in like a no money spent or just a low budget team, hopefully this will help you out the best budget safeties in Madden 19 under 
100,000 coins. Let me know down below what other positions you guys want to see. I do have a playlist on the channel, so if you're looking for something, I might actually have already done it. Uh, go check it out in their playlist. I think it's like Madden 19 best budget players, so it should be in there. Whatever you guys want to see next, make sure to know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.